Hello and welcome to Take a Beat. My name is Tirza and I'm the digital pastor here at IES. So in Take a Beat podcast, what we do is we pause and just think about life for a little bit, reflect, reassess, and then that would fuel us to continue with our lives. So take a beverage, uh, take a beat, and join us in our conversation. And I am really excited today because I get to chat with a few of my friends. I can't really call them colleagues because they're more than (laughs) colleagues. For most of them, I've known them for years. (laughs) Um, And so we have here Christine and Sophie and Marianne. It's so weird. Like, I call her Tanto Marianne. (laughs) It's like, so so just calling her name. (laughs) Um, So why don't you introduce yourself, your name, what you do at IES, and uh, your family. Tell us a little bit more about your family. Why don't we start with Christine over here? Okay. My name is Christine. (laughs) Uh, I'm the director of the kids ministry here at IS. I am... Do I need to speak louder? (laughs) I am a mother of two. My daughter is seven. My son is four. And I'm a wife of one. Oh, good. (laughs) Thank God. (laughs) Jelly, this is for you. (laughs) Hi, my name is Sophie. I'm um, mostly taking care of everything, <laughs> the details, everything in the church. Um, I'm a single parent with two kids, well, two adults, two young adults. <gasps> uh, <laughs> one is, uh, my son is tw- uh, 19 years old, almost, and my daughter is 17 oh. years old. Yep. Yes, all right. And the- uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have many names. Um, um, so what's my name? <laughs> so I have to think for a while. <laughs> yeah, I'm Marianne, and I'm I'm the early years coordinator at IS, and um, help with the facility at seventh floor. I'm a mother of five. Okay. Um, <laughs> Age? <laughs> no, that's not, that's not, that's not. No, need, no need. I'm a mother of five, two boys, three girls, and they're all adults. Yeah, they're all adults. <laughs> yes, and um, I am a single mom in the sense of my my husband went home to be with Jesus. Right. Okay. So this is interesting. We're going to talk about working moms and <laughs> being working parents because we talk about this in our theme stronger families right um and we talk about and pastor dave and pastor mike we're talking about um oh parenting your kids and uh, training them in the way of the lord and so just kind of application wise how do we balance this right i mean my mom Growing up, my mom uh, worked a full-time job. She was a teacher and um, she also did ministry. And so it was, it, it looked different than a stay-at-home mom. It's not, there's no labels of like, this is one, this one's better, or this one's not. It's just different, right? So I kind of want to hear some of your perspectives and your stories and things like that. So uh, when you're working a full-time job, whether now or before what was your schedule like hectic (laughs) (laughs) well i i did once like when i already a single parents Mm -hmm. i work i start to like get up in the morning wake up in the morning bring my kids to school and went to work and when i won't be at home until nine o'clock at night so but then that's why, thanks God, I quit that job. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was pre-IES? Yes. <laughs> I was thinking, wait, is that your schedule here at IES? <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, that's one of the reasons I, I quit that job because I couldn't see my kids uh, mm. a lot. Like, you know, because at that time, they were 
still growing up, mm. and I don't want to miss the time that we can spend together. So I was saying that okay, this is not a good uh, working like a, this is not a good job for me. Yeah. So I need to have something that I can balance yeah. between works and family. So. Um, I, I was just when you were um, talking about <laughs> working moms, I had just like a little thought about like bringing up children is work anyway. So yes. it's just like um, <laughs> so it's like you're, you you work you're two jobs, work or <laughs> double work job, with a paycheck, <laughs> double right? job. something like this. So um, I I feel very blessed and um, because like my work was. I'm, since 1999 was IES, mm -hmm. so my children were basically crawling under meeting tables and <laughs> um, and you know just like uh, while teaching oh, after breastfeeding, oh, put the child down and then <laughs> okay, let's. So, um, but then yeah, I was like like what Sophie just says like I was I felt really really blessed that I could be with my children. But then there was a time when you weren't at and IES, then, right? Yeah, and then I was actually, but that was the same thing. So my children um, grew up, and um, there was an I, I worked in school. Mm -hmm. So again, I was with my children. So basically, a day would always like, mom's moving, everybody's moving. So it's just <laughs> like um, um, having my children around. And what Sophie was just mentioning. Um, um, being able, even though you work, I could see my children or they could come to me and if they needed something. So that was really, uh, it was still kind of around the clock yeah. because mm -hmm. like in order to, you know, to, we never had a helper. So um, everything went through my hands. So it's just like, <laughs> yes, we need to speed up, but we can <laughs> do it. We are equipped for this. Yeah. Amen. So, amen. <laughs> <laughs> You're like in the midst of it because... Both of them, their kids yeah. are either mm -hmm. like, you know, have been adults for a while or are emerging adulthood. Yours, or <laughs> you're, you're still. Just, <laughs> my work schedule is kind of similar like Mariana. So I've been with, I've been working with IS for 15 years now. Mm -hmm. But the first 11 years I did, I, my title was a part-time worker mm -hmm. here. So the other part-time I used to do psychological practice outside mm. um, so my schedule is also hectic but thank God with IS I could bring my kids to church mm. just like Mariana both my kids grew up crawling under the table literally hooping under the table <laughs> while, while we were having staff meeting or getting and, passed around from yeah one that's right to even with you right yeah. so both of my and then also breast me, breastfeeding in the middle of <laughs> all the gentlemen's around <laughs> yeah covered, that, though. <laughs> covered, 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 covered covered don't worry uh, so yeah and then the last four years i'm a full-timer so i focus on is and i am blessed with a husband who is a uh, an artist that works in entertainment business mm. so his working schedule is pretty flexible Got it. so now that my kids are growing older during the day he's there with my mm. husband I'm mm. here and then he will work night shift so. yeah so how I mean we've kind of sort of talked about that but how do you parent full-time like I, I feel like I'm taking notes not that I'm married <laughs> and having kids anytime soon but you know <laughs> just taking notes What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> How, How do you parent think, and work full time? I think there's no like yeah, a formula. formula. There's yeah. no formula, yeah, yeah. and I think it's you, you know that's why I always do you wing it every day, <laughs> pretty much. Well, for me, I think because um, I've been teaching my kids, both of them since they were kids, to be uh, independent, mm -hmm. okay. like they start to wash their own dishes still when they're already like four or five years old, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and then they know how to clean their own rooms. So basically, it's like uh, before I'm becoming a single parent, they already knows what to do. So when, when that time came, 
it's not、uh, as hard as to teach them again because they already know what to do. And I just told them, like, okay, don't do this, don't do that. If you have any things, just call me.、Mm. And well, thanks God, both of them is a very well. I would say a discipline. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they 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 afraid of、uh, what's the consequences.、Ah. They're great kids.、Yeah. Yes, both of them. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yours too. Yours too. <laughs>、uh, so let's talk about you know stronger families and training children in the Lord. Uh, how do you incorporate that, like your relationship with God? How do you incorporate that? How do you,、um, like, what role does your faith, your personal faith,、uh, play in how you parent, how you you relate your, with your kids? Well, I was just、um, looking back. I think Jesus. Was my savior, but not the Lord of my life.、Mm. So actually, I have a little bit of a, I think, almost reverse story. Like with my oldest,、um, I, being German Christian nation, and you know my parents prayed, but、mm. you know, not、um, so. So I knew it was the right thing to do. So I taught by head.、Mm. My child, you know, sang the songs to, to him. Jesus loves you, and.、Um, Until the day when we were in the supermarket and he's standing in the stroller and Jesus loves me. Yes, I know.、Uh, this is this this so, is this is your son who's 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 my actually, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, yeah that's no, one. The, that one. The, that's the right. Now, now yeah, the, the teen pastor. <laughs> yeah. So I think、um, the, the, how to again. I feel like there's no like. You know, if I read the Bible every day, my all my children will believe, and、um, and if I force them to church, I, it's, it's for me. It was it's always a very, very, very personal, and、um, I I felt very aware that salvation is from God, is by and and you know. So it's like I'm trying to incorporate it in my life, like. Walking it out, just、mm. being doers, basically. So just、um, admitting when I'm wrong and things like this. <laughs> oh, that's hard. So <laughs> yeah. Well, so with me, get better with that. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be. If it wasn't Jesus, I wouldn't be who I am now、mm. and how I deal with my kids and with my, my family.、Mm. So, I think first, yeah, Jesus is my foundation and. Again, Christianity is not just religion; it's a lifestyle.、Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I hope that my kids are raised by modeling,、mm-hmm. seeing from the way their parents、mm-hmm. live their lives. So it's not only okay. We we do read the Bible before sleeping, and we pray, and and we go to church. But I hope it's not only those ritual, but also the lifestyle that we are doing,、mm-hmm. how we. Deal with each other at home. How、mm. we speak with each other,、um, with other people. How we deal with conflicts, the problems. <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> my kids have seen my downs, but also my ups. So,、mm. yeah. True. But Sophie. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess being a single parent is at okay. At first, I thought that. I cannot make it,、mm-hmm. you know. But somehow, during those journey, it's、uh, like Marianne said. It's like it's Jesus is,、uh, you know. It's like sh- he's the savior.、Mm-hmm. Like even though we don't really seek him, but he always find us. Amen.、Mm-hmm. You know. So it's like. Why aren't、It's, you preaching?、Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs>、uh-uh. <laughs> well, yeah. So it's it's yeah. It's basically、um, what I'm going through、uh, from within these ten years because、uh, my my husband passed away ten years ago. So this is exactly ten years that、wow. he passed, and、uh, yeah, during these ten years is you know everything is just、uh, I think is. By grace of God, that I'm here. 
and I'm still standing. <laughs> I mean, from the perspective of a child, I saw my parents live out their faith, and I think a lot of the times we think, oh, like Christian parenting means you have to be perfect. Mm -hmm. It's actually mm -hmm. in the times when you are not perfect yeah, that right. your faith is really um, applied. Yeah, right. um, mm -hmm. and your kids see how you know you you have the heart to apologize when you're right mm -hmm. when you're wrong or uh when you are weak and you have like your little meltdown <laughs> and then realizing that like for me um seeing my mom like being tired or frustrated and then seeing how the first thing she would do is pray mm -hmm. uh, because she she feels like she couldn't do it mm -hmm. um and so i think yeah, I think I, I, I like how you're talking. It's not it's not like, oh, there's a formula of, oh, this yeah. is what you do. No. These are the songs you teach. Mm -hmm. These are the no, like no. Bible stories that you teach. And there's a like the program. Um, <laughs> That's and, what we do in class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you try it with one and the other. Oh, yeah. you know, is that why you have five? So kind so of, you yeah, no test formula even with our own kids. <laughs> I'm still... <laughs> The yeah. formula is different for each each kid. <laughs> trying hard to figure it out. <laughs> well, Thanks God, he knows. <laughs> actually, there, this is this is a plug. If you have kids and you want resources, <laughs> we have online resources for kids oh. at iskids.org. See, I remember. Yes, yes. <laughs> check it out. Check it out. New every week. <laughs> there, there are also article parenting articles. Oh, there parenting too. articles. See, <laughs> so not only for the kids, the the classroom activities, but also some tips on parenting mm -hmm. that can um, tips or maybe reminder um, reminder so that you're not alone you're not alone also, yeah. <laughs> when I whenever we choose the articles I was like oh that's me that's me yeah. I need this I need to read well, this yeah from the perspective of a parent yeah. yeah yeah that's great how many of the kids staff um, I'm kind of going on a tangent <laughs> but how many of the kids staff team are married with kids um, Patty's bunny does not count. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Four. 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 Okay. Oh, that's that's interesting. We just so that... added one yeah. this week. <sighs> yeah. Congratulations. I mean, one staff, not one child. <laughs> okay. <I'm> like, what? <laughs> um, okay, so how do you prioritize your relationship with God while you're busy doing everything? Because that's like, like, sometimes like, I hear this a lot like you don't have me time when you're a parent especially when you have small kids running around uh, no helper like you don't have me time how do you do Jesus time like how how, how did you do that or f like incorporate that in your lives as a mom um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for me like like what you said like your, your schedule is full and um and i felt actually frustrated at times because i felt like according to what i should do you know stand up spend time with god and read the bible one hour this and all this so uh, and that was struggle because i was so exhausted so kind of like oh you want to do a sleep putting another hour you know it's like what at three o'clock <laughs> <laughs> so i what helped me personally was um, uh, uh, growing, kind of like almost practicing, like what um, Christian also mentioned, that lifestyle, having a, um, an awareness of uh, in reality of that wherever I am, I have Jesus time, mm. basically. So it's just like whether I start brushing my teeth, you know, and I'm almost like, you know, I, I want to talk to you about this one. You know? I really oh, don't yeah. know. Like well, that's what happened to me. It's like when, when they're both still kids, Yeah. my me time with God is in the toilet. That's <laughs> yeah, right. That's right. It it's literally yeah. is. I prayed there and I, I, I cried there and, Until you know. Until you did the knock yeah. on the door, right? No. After some minutes? After, well, <laughs> thankfully it's not because they know when mom's is in oh. the restroom, nobody, <laughs> nobody, <laughs> nobody. Not <laughs> like my kids. <laughs> right as it takes. Yeah, but, but yeah. yeah, that's the only place that you will have time mm -hmm. for God. I mean, of, 
But you can oh. extend it then. You go to the supermarket, <laughs> you know, and like you on a walk. Well, supermarket, I will go with them, so I can. <laughs> yeah, but then no, then you have like the two of them. Oh no, Jesus yeah. and the two. Yeah. <laughs> Full house. Yeah. <laughs> I really tried hard to wake up earlier than usual. I wake up usually at five and wanted to wake up early in the morning to do devotion every day. Then I fell asleep. Mm. <laughs> Sleeping is so precious, you know. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I think when reading Bible with them is also devotion time for me. Mm. When preparing for kids' church material every week, mm. it's devotion time for me. Sure. When I'm in the middle of machet, <laughs> like this Jakarta morning, traffic, right. it's yeah. a blessing in disguise. That's also mm. the time when yeah. because you are driving, yeah. right? Yeah. I'm yeah. driving. I'm not. I'm not talking with God. Yeah. <laughs> You're singing for no, no. him. While I driving. talk to God in <laughs> traffic <laughs> yeah. by saying, "Lord, look yeah. at that. Yeah. 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 Can yeah. you please cut, yeah. cut them off?" Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. True. True. So. So in traffic, in, traffic. <laughs> in the restroom. <laughs> it's just I'm just cool. being honest. <laughs> Thank you for being honest. It, it can be ideas for people. Too, <laughs> yes, right? yes. You can write this yeah. down. Ideas. And pretty much everywhere you are. Yeah. That's right. And I think because obviously we also need like, I, I once someone reminded me, don't um, read, just read the word, not explanations and side notes and all just focus on the truth though for that reason um i guess the posted notes need to mm. come up somewhere in your house or just like you see always the same like sometimes for me it was for years uh the fruit of the spirit was like like i said i jesus was not even the lord of my life but that that verse like a just like in the kitchen everywhere you know mm-hmm. so all right well we're kind of out of time man when yeah <laughs> talking don't talk like to my friends <laughs> <laughs> i like to, uh, but thank you so much for joining thank me you in thank this you conversation i'm really excited um and so thank you for joining us this week and uh, if you want to know more of what they do um they're all IES staff and so uh, christine sophie and muti tante mariana <laughs> however <laughs> however here. people call Come you yes. <laughs> thank you so much and thank you for joining us tune in next week for take a beat thanks for having us